Natural gas, right? We you got, got it. Uh, let's see. Let's see what we're, we're trading at right now inside the natural gas market. Uh, so we're at 267, yeah. up 1.4 percent right now. All right. Jump over. There's a contract. I mean, it's summer down here, but the rest of the country, it, is summer, it was man. winter last it is warm. yesterday. I was telling you yesterday, it's so warm my AC, I got to go get it looked at, right? As I'm, coming <laughs> out, I'm serious. That's crazy. It is. Um, so we're trading 267. We had a little bit of volatility. This is last night, going from like 264 to 269. We've been floating between about 267 and 268 for the last few hours. We're going to get natural gas at 1030 in about 10 minutes. Because of the Monday federal holiday for President's Day, you have crude oil pushed back a day and a half hour. So crude's coming right at 11 o'clock, too. Okay. Um, so let's just jump in. 267, this is always a little tough because as I know it already our, our, moved. Yeah. Well, not even that it moved. They normally line up on the fives or the zeros. Okay, so okay. I know that it was going to be 265 or 270 usually, yeah. no matter what, because they're five cent uh, or 20 cent. Um, so they line Increments, up on the, yeah. yeah, so they line up on the fives usually, which makes sense. Um, so you're not going to have spreads that line up with a pivot point or your strike price right where you're trading, right? So you're going to have to choose a side where you have intrinsic value. All right, so in this type of trade you'd want to choose a side where you have a bias. And if you don't have a side, right. then you, it's tough to do a volatility alone. trade. Sure. You know, right. it really is. So just, uh, let's just say that, where are we? I'm just going to back it up a little bit. We're, we're near the upper range of where we're going, right? Let's, yeah. let's say that maybe we're a little bit bearish. We think we could trade back down lower. I'm just going to choose the one with some intrinsic value. No, even these are, yeah, okay, here we go. So, I mean, it becomes a completely different trade. You know, you have your, your spread from 275 to 255, and you could technically be selling it. And you have a slight risk reward in your, in your favor because you're selling it at 267. Your losses are capped eight pennies above you, yeah. but your profits are capped 12 pennies below you. Right. Right. Um, so you're paying a little bit of premium, ways that you can spin that. I'm just going to jump into the noons even. Yeah, so they're going to line up in identical and even the dailies. Maybe you have 260, maybe you have 285. Um, I tell you what, as we jump around, let's just take a look at our oil because we're going to get oil at 11. Yeah. Um, so these, of course, if you're trading the, the actual number, you wouldn't want to trade the 11 a.m. expirations, obviously. No. So you get crude trading at 56.91. We're looking at the April crude contract now. We're looking at the March, I believe, natural gas. So crude trading 56.91. I pulled up the noons initially, and you're going to have $57, which is not that bad if you wanted it, right? Now, what happens here is that if you want exposure on both sides, it's kind of nice sometimes when you're able to get in when it's at that point, you know, yes. where you could wait until it's closer to 11, but if you're able to get in where you have exposure on both sides, you're paying no intrinsic value, that's not a bad deal. Right. Um, because we could trade away, and then we could lose that opportunity to get in with no intrinsic value. So right now, 57 we are going to be paying a little bit of intrinsic value, and it's, as I say that... It looks that, like you're going to get it. Right. Well, as I say it, though, look, I mean, this is why I say it, right? We're dropping as we were just at 57 well, on the dot. We're yeah. now 15 pennies below it. Okay. Um, so this is our bullish spread, completely out of the money here. That's going to be the cheap one for 17 pennies. And then the bearish one from 57 down to 55.50, going to be more expensive. 30, and that the difference being that you have about 13 cents. 47. 47, not bad, because these are not the news. Bad. You'd have a full hour after the news, and you have 40 minutes before the news. Well, you might get a nice head start for yourself. Yeah. You know? Um, right. And let's just jump and see how the dailies line up for oil. So it'd, be, it'd be nice if that thing get up to 57, just like you say. It, it would, right. right? Because then it pulls back, and you'd probably save a few pennies, maybe a penny or two, um, because it would take out all the intrinsic value. You'd right. pay a little bit more premium maybe on the other one. Um, but nonetheless, so jumping to what's nice yeah, is that I know it's working, right? Uh, so let's take a look. I'm jumping the 8 till 230s. These are $3 spreads okay. from 57 to 60. That's good. Now, I'm just going to jump right to the dailies, though, because they start at the same price of 57, but they go all the way up to 62, and they go all the way down to 52, $5 spreads, okay. and you end up paying a super marginal and maybe sometimes no Seven. premium. Right for that extra two dollars so why not pay it and even as as we do it as i i'm going to jump to these and i'm just going to put them up side by side yeah perfect perfect example all right yeah, 57 price. to 62 you yeah. can get in at 57 25 57 to 60 you can get in 57 25 you'd be a fool to cap your profits right. for, for no extra price right? right so you jump right to the 230 230s <laughs> and again this is going to be your out of the money the bullish because we're eight pennies below Looking at like 25, and on the bearish side, not bad, man. You're looking at $57. 
Um, you got till 2.30, yep. and your profits are almost uncapped in that you have $5 of exposure on, on both sides. Let me just pull this up. Let's see. Cause it, it looks, when I was looking at this yesterday, it looked to me like this wants to go a little bit higher. We had some good volume coming in this Definitely time. went a little higher yesterday. Yeah. Okay, so that's some good juice out here yesterday. I see. Yeah, That's what I was like, it definitely went a little higher yesterday. I, and I'd go for higher. So what, we, what we've done here is that, you know, when we just pull back here, folks, you pull back into this uh, 1050 bar, which is a very strong bar. You know, the bottom of that is at, uh, what, 5731? 5667 bottom. Uh, yeah, the 50 yeah. Is, uh, so I like that trade. But I like that trade on the bullish side, you know, which you know, we'll see what Sorry, happens. so say that again. You like that trade, but on the bullish side, what, you like a, just a directionally bullish trade or something? No, no, no. I take the volatility, okay. but I, I would still skew to the bullish side of okay. it because of the fact that yesterday you went top side, you had the wide price spread, had good volume, you back down on this with light volume, so that thing looks like it wants to go a little bit higher. Sure. Now, just looking yeah. at these, uh, this one has like a seven cent bearish bias, all of them do. That's yeah. all I was saying. Just, yeah. you know, so they're, and right. it, it's, it's pretty much right on the dot. Seven pennies, you're right. pretty close to, to as close as you're going to get. Sometimes yeah. we line it up where it's right on the dot, but um, when you're that close to a strike price, you're paying so little in intrinsic value that it's actually probably pretty close to as cheap as you're going to get it. Because even when it yeah. gets, you know, if it's within five, seven pennies, you're pretty close because there's such little intrinsic value, they kind of tick away. So and, we'll see. We get natural case, gas at 10.30 yeah. and we get oil at 11. It's nice. And, yeah, and so it, what, it, what it gets intriguing is that you can wait till 5.11 to bottom yeah, line. Put for that, the oil put, one, right? That, just oh, put definitely. That on. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Well, we like that. Uh, EIA says uh, natural gas stockpiles fell uh, 177 BCF. Looks like the estimate was somewhere around 169. So pretty close, but a little bit of a miss. And uh, it would make sense. You got more of a draw than you thought. Less natural gas. Right. It's going to be a higher price for that natural gas. So you get a pop from that 267 up to about 269. Two pennies uh, in a pretty quick uh, spell. But and when we brought the when we brought this up, folks, it was pretty cool uh, what Tommy found because the that screen it shows every week what the draws were, and sure. when when you see this, what you're going to see is that um, the draws have been lighter, lighter, and lighter. And you know, not for this week. This sure. week it's bigger, but that's pretty intense because we, you know February's uh, ending in seven days. You're coming into March. And then, you know, as soon as the, the aspect of March, April come, oh, you know, guess what? That's when you start getting into, you know, basically a build inside the natural gas market versus a draw. You and know? unfortunately, I lost that screen when yeah. we were jumping around. That's all right. Yeah. But, we'll, we'll, but yeah, it was just we were going all the way back to January, right? Right. There were draws, as in fell, stockpiles fell. They're basically headlines. Stockpile fell, stockpile yep. fell, stock. But guess what? And that number kept going it's down. It's all about expectation, right? right? Like when companies report earnings, it's right. not what you make. It's what were you supposed to make. Right. As in, yeah, we know that stockpiles are going to decrease. It's the winter. They probably should have decreased more. Right. If if right. Uh, you know we're sitting at two seventy almost. I mean, quite a price when we were just at what four dollars and eighty cents on some of those spikes. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. But we'll check back to natural gas to start it off. So we're sitting about two sixty seven coming into that number. Nothing too dramatic, right? Spike to two sixty nine, sitting about two sixty eight, and then crude oil as we come into the EIA and crude, we're trading at fifty six eighty eight. And to get the number on crude, this is not the crude number, but I'm going to go in. I think we're expecting a build of almost three million. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes. So they got, they have the whisper number, the survey number, but we get the numbers at 11 o'clock Eastern time and look for a build of about three million barrels of crude as we come into that number. You're gonna love it. Yeah.